Well, hello, welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, I thought I'd do a, an unboxing of this new CS800 that I got from uh, Grapevine Ham Radio. Uh, Jason over there did a good job of tracking it down when the post office lost it and got it moving in one day and uh, apparently it was stuck at the Quinlan, Texas post office for about three days. Now don't ask me why, but the uh, moment he filed a tracking report, the very next morning it came out for delivery. So had to be in Quinlan already. So anyway, here's the box that showed up. And so let's start opening up this uh, CS800 right here. We get a little note. Thank you for your order from GrapevineAmateurRadio.com. Uh, Jason Johnston, KC5HWB, KC5H Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Uh, anyway, uh, a lot of you may not know, Jason does have a website that he uh, sells uh, some equipment on. So you might want to visit uh, grapevineamateurradio.com. Anyway, okay, the first thing is uh, programming cable. And I've noticed right off the bat, it's got a serial port jack on it. Serial port jack. I do have a USB uh, a serial adapter cable already, and so I won't have to go buy one. But uh, if you buy this radio, remember it has a serial port jack. You're going to need a converter cable. All right, what else do we have? Well, a bunch of uh, little cardboard things, and we got the manual. I'll have to read that. And of course, we got the radio down there, but before we open that, let's open this side box. Uh, the radio comes with a uh, N type connector, N type. And so I also ordered from Jason this uh, adapter that converts an N type to SO239 so that I can just plug my regular coax into it. So remember that if you buy the radio, you're going to have to get an adapter with it. And it's got a power cable with a 15 amp fuse on it and a standard T connection. All right, got a microphone. Let's kind of unpackage this too so you can see it. The microphone is fully sealed. Let's see. No, that's a lie. It's not fully sealed. It's just folded. But it uh, looks like it's very well protected. So here's the mic. Got a keypad on the mic. I've seen videos. Apparently the keypad locks uh, lights up. So we'll see that in a minute. Now, wait a minute. If that was the adapter cable, if that was the programming cable I just showed you right here, I got another programming cable uh, in the box, and it looks like it has the proper connectors on it to plug right into the radio. Uh, I don't know if uh, both of these come with it or not, and I don't remember if I ordered a ca programming cable at the time. Something tells me that uh, both of these come in the bag, so that's probably what it is. Both of them come in the bag, both types, so you won't have to use a USB to serial adapter. And that's the bracket to mount it in the car or in the truck. I'm going to leave that alone. And let's see if we can get this radio out of here. Well packed. i got to say that. It is well packed in here in, in cardboard. Let me kind of pull it away and get it undone. So anyway, here is the radio. 
and I can turn it toward the camera. So there it is. And looks feels kind of heavy duty. Feels heavy duty. Got a big old heat sink over here. There's your end type adapter right there. So you're going to need that uh, converter, this thing, that plugs into here, and then you can plug regular uh, SO259 coax into it. Looks like it's got a serial port right there. Now I'm going to have to read about it to see. That may be why you have uh, two different uh, ports on it, or two different cables. It's got a serial port here, and of course it's got that, I think it's an RJ45 plug in the front for the microphone, but one of these cables, this one, has that type of jack on it right there, and it also has a USB uh, on the other end. So I'll have to figure out which way you program it, Possible, possibly you program it from both Either one, I don't know. It's also got this 15 amp fuse on it. The screen is protected with plastic, which is good. So that's about all I can say about this. It was well packed. Uh, Jason sent it. Uh, in, this was inside another box that had padding all around this. So um, he had it well boxed up. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Uh, we'll try to get this connected over the next hour or two and start playing with it. And when I get familiar with it, we'll do another video of how it operates. Anyway, as I usually do, I say clear skies, 73. Remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See y'all later. Everybody be good.